Hey guys, today's video is going to be my February boxy charm. February is one of my favorite months because my birthday is in February. <laughs> okay, boxy charm, you know the drill. Here we go. Let's see what we got. The theme for this month is Be My Glamantine. Oh, oh yeah. First thing in the box is from OPV Beauty. This is the loose setting powder. Retails for $22. Perfect for setting your foundation or wearing alone, whether you rely on setting powder to mattify, set, conceal, or diffuse, this formula acts as a finishing touch to bring your whole look together. I've never heard of this brand before. OPV Beauty. Um, I might pass this along to somebody because I don't really use a setting powder. I mean, I don't, I just, I do, I'm very simple with my, like, makeup routine. Like, sometimes I'll go glam, but most of the time it's just, like, natural. Yeah, I don't really use setting powder, so I'm probably going to pass that along. Next thing in the box is from Alley Oop. Alley Oop. Alley oop, alley oop, alley oop. This is the Multitasker 4 in 1 Makeup Brush. 4 in 1? Whoa. Retails are $28. It's an award winning multitasker brush combined with the four most essential makeup applications, including a sponge, blush, brow, and eyebrow brush. This compact game changer is all you need for a full face on the go. What? Let's check this out. It's like, uh, okay. All right. It's not like, I don't know. I was expecting it to. I don't know, be more of like a Swiss Army knife, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, it's just um, this part came off, but you can like, okay. So we got two different brushes here and you can screw off this. We got another one and we got another one. I mean, this is handy. It's, you know, one brush as opposed to four brushes. Um, so yeah, I will try this. I like the color. It's a really pretty, 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 like baby blue color. All right, next thing in the box is from Bali Bomb. This is the pineapple lip scrub. Ooh, this retails for $23. This rich, indulgent sugar scrub is packed with juicy pineapple fragrance and exfoliating sugar cane crystals to gently buff and polish away dead sin scalp, skin, skin, sin, 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 skin cells, <laughs> plus an ultra smoothing blend of the finest botanicals. All right. Bolly bum, bolly bum, bolly bum, bolly bum, bolly bum. Guys, I make everything into a song. Everything is a song to me. Okay, all right, let's check this out. Oh, ooh, that smells like good enough to eat. Mm. I'm not gonna put it on now because I've got um, a lip color on my lips. If you guys are wondering what color I have on my lips, I think I talked about this in the previous video, but it is Bare Minerals smooch i love it i love these um matte liquid lipsticks they're amazing um i'm really excited for this yes 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 okay what else do we have this is from yensa yensa this is the tone up primer essential glow this primer is the perfect first step to achieving a superfood glow infused with eight super powered skin loving ingredients to help minimize the appearance of pores fine lines and wrinkles the usual freaking claims and everything 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 claims it is a lightweight satin sheen formula. It creates an invisible skin perfecting finish. Retails for $35. Again, I'm basic with my makeup application. I did. <laughs> I don't use a primer, so I'm probably going to pass this along to someone. Probably. Let's take it out. What does it look like? Oh, it's just in like a little, little tube thing. Little tube, tube thing. Tube, tube, tube thing. Tube thing. All right. And the last thing, as usual, is a palette. Well, like as. 95% of the time usual. This is the Ace Beauté, Ace Beauty Low Essentials Highlighter Palette. Retails for $40. It's all you need to get your glow on each shade. shade. Why can't I read? Each shade is buildable and easily glides on the skin, giving you a seamless glowing look. I, again, basic ass bitch Vanessa here. <laughs> I don't really use highlighter. Probably gonna pass this along. But, ooh, ooh, ah, actually, those are really pretty, so I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I'll save this in case I do wanna highlight some stuff. <laughs> really pretty colors, though, wow. Wowie, zowie. Okay, my thoughts on the box. Um, I mean, really pretty colors. Look at that, look at that. Whoa, 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 whoa. I might keep this. Um, I do have a couple of other highlighter palettes, though, from Ofra. I don't know. I'm torn. I'm torn if I'm going to keep this. I don't know. I'm definitely keeping the lip scrub. Cannot wait to try this. Probably going to try this tonight. This needs to go within my vision area so I know to take it out of this room. <laughs> stay, stay, stay. Um, what else? This makeup brush? Yes, yes. I will try this out. Uh, what else did we get? Oh, this toner and the um, uh, setting powder. I'm probably just going to pass these along because, again, I don't use these two, so... Yeah, just gonna pass them along to a friend. Seems like BoxyCharm is 
incorporating more brands that aren't really well known. I've been getting BoxyCharm for six. Why do I always, I always like mess up at this part. Whenever I'm like, I've been getting BoxyCharm for this long. I always never remember how long I've been getting BoxyCharm for. I think it's like seven and a half years, a long time. Um, and usually most of the time you get brands that are, you know, pretty well known. But I feel like, I mean, what brands do I know? I know Ace Beauty or Ace Beauté, however the hell you pronounce it. Um, that's the only brand that I know in this box. And the only reason I know that brand is because I've gotten it in a BoxyCharm before. So yeah, I feel like BoxyCharm is um, partnering with like smaller brands. I don't know. Is it going downhill? I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Just because they're not well-known brands doesn't mean that they're not good brands, Vanessa. Yes, I know that. Yeah, they're just incorporating brands that are not really well known. Um, I mean, it could be a good thing. It could be a bad thing. I don't know. I don't know. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think. I have a link to BoxyCharm down below if you guys are interested in signing up. Also, link my BoxyCharm playlist down below so you can watch seven plus six and a half, six to a, a lot of years of BoxyCharm unboxings. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.